Hi, grade 12 student. So in today's video, we are going to cover inventory valuation method. So in this video, we are going to cover FIFO method, which you also know it as a first in first out method. And after that, we are going to do another question uh, that is going to cover a specific identification method. So please make sure that you stay tuned and watch until the end of this video and also make sure that you have subscribed and you have liked this video and share with friend so that they can also okay. learn like you okay now let's go straight to the question and try to attempt them so it was question two from the question paper that was written in 2023 june examination so it's paper two okay uh, they said monday jones is the owner of tv city that sell tv set and there's two branch shops in kzn okay then they said the periodic stock system is used and no missing item were recorded for the final financial year end 28 february 2023 okay then they said howick branch this branch sell arctic tv set okay then 2.1.1 calculate the value of closing stock of Arctic TV set on 28 February 2023 using FIFO method. Then it's five marks to do that. Okay, now we have to calculate using the first in first out method. Remember, this method assumes that what we bought first, we are going to sell them first. Because now we are calculating the closing stock. The closing stock simply means that this is the stock that remain at the end of the year, which means that the remaining stock is coming from the bench that we purchased last. Okay, if you check, we have opening stock on our table with purchases May, August, September, and January. Okay, and we also have some return. You have to take note of return. Okay, and they told us that the units that we left with is 270. Okay, it's question 2.1.1. So, on hand, we have 270 units. Okay, so we have to identify where does this 270 units coming from. Obviously, we have to check the last bench because it's FIFO method. What we purchase first, we already sold them. Okay, so the last bench that we purchase is from January. So on general one we purchased 300 unit but take note that 60 were returned from that 300 which means that in January we have to assume that we have 240 inventory why because 60 has been returned we have to subtract 60 first which means that from January bench we must take 240 okay we are going to take 240 from January Okay, from January, we're going to take 240 and we multiply by the price of that uh, bench of January, which is going to be 4,100. How did we see that the return is from January? If you check the cost price of return and January is the same, simple means that it's from that bench. Okay, so if you do this calculation, uh, it's going to give you amount of 984,000 okay then now we have to go and check another bench uh, of september the previous one the previous purchase is from september obviously we have to make sure that the amount that we take is gonna give us 270 in total when we add with this one which means that it's 80 80 plus 240 is gonna give us on hand of 270 so this 30 is from bench of september which means that we're gonna use the cost price of four thousand okay and if you do this calculation it's gonna give you one twenty thousand and the total now is gonna give you one million one hundred and four thousand so that's how you should calculate your first in first out method okay now let's go to 2.1.2 calculate the stock holding period in days using a closing stock figure so you probably are familiar with this formula 
of stock holding because when you are doing a ratios you also have to know the formula of stock holding period we want to know how long we hold our stock in terms of days if they said in terms of days you have to multiply by 365 if they said in terms of months you multiply by 12 okay now uh, let's identify this formula because they already give us that we have to use a closing stock which means that we are not going to use what an average okay which means that instead of inventory average we're gonna use a stock divided by cost of sales and we multiply by 365 okay so remember uh, if they tell they, they, they tell you to use opening which means that you're gonna use opening here if they said average you're gonna use average okay our closing stock we have it is the one that we calculate which is one million one hundred and four thousand then after that now we have to identify our cost of sales cost of sales is there on the table of six million and ten thousand okay we multiply by 365 okay so this will give us a 67 i already round it off 67 days we hold them for 67 days okay now i think we are done with the first part which means that we can go to the second part okay the second part they said a deben branch this branch sell a pacific and Caspian Smart TV set. Mandy was concerned about the following issue. The Caspian Smart set will be too expensive for her customer. Okay, they determined that the price is too high and she feel like it's going to be very expensive. High stock level in all her products might negatively affect the business. Okay, they said Mandy expected to sell 1000 specific TV in 2023 financial year she therefore adjusted the selling price of specific tv in september and asked the bookkeeper to provide an analysis of the quarterly sales okay referring to information a and b number one calculate the value of closing of the specific tv set on 28 february 2023 using specific identification method okay in this case we are going to use a specific identification method then 2.2.2 .2 calculate the gross profit okay now let's start with 2.2.1 okay we are calculating specific identification method all right how are we going to calculate this okay let's go to information which is related to it this one information number a and b okay they said we are calculating for um specific tv okay uh, let's check how are we going to calculate this so if you check on the table uh, they give us the cost price they give us stock at the beginning and stock at the end stock uh, sorry purchases so they didn't give us stock at the end which means that the first step that we need to do is to calculate the stock on hand then we multiply by the cost price okay stock at the beginning we have 350 units plus purchase of 800 then we minus a sales of 765 then it's gonna give us a stock on hand okay stock on hand is gonna be how many stock it's gonna be 385 it's gonna be 385 then after that we say 385 multiplied by cost price of 9300 then it's gonna give us an answer okay then our answer will be uh, three million five hundred simple as that okay so this is how we calculate a specific identification 
method we calculate exactly using the cost price we don't do average okay then 2.2.2 .2 they say that we have to calculate a gross profit okay they said we have to calculate a gross profit but for which product they said for caspian smart okay let me verify on the question yes caspian uh, tv okay so now if you check on the table they give us a sales amount only a sales amount is equal to 10 million nine hundred and Thirty-four, four hundred. Multiply by. Okay. If you check a markup, we are given a markup of sixty percent. So what you can do to calculate a gross profit straight, okay? Or maybe let's do it in in a form of markup. This is a sales. This is a sales. So in order for you to get a cost of sales, you can say hundred over one sixty. Then it's going to give you a cost of sales. Okay. A cost of sales of how much? Of 6,834,000. Or guys, what you can do, if you want a straight answer, you can just say it's, uh, our gross, our, our sales amount of 10,934,000. And 400 and you just multiply by what you have and uh, you said what we are looking for you are looking for 60 percent okay and what you have is sales which has included what a profit which means that is gonna give you a straight answer of four million one hundred and four hundred okay this one remember is uh, this one is cost of sales this one is cost of sales so you know how to get a gross profit when we have sales and cost of sales you are just going to subtract these two but if you do this calculation obviously it's going to give you straight answer gross sales minus cost of sales is going to give you the same answer of four million one hundred and four hundred so that's how you should do uh, your calculation. So I hope you learned something, guys. So I don't want to make uh, long videos anymore. Please go and check a uh, grade 12 playlist for other questions. Because this question paper that I have here, I'm going to do all of them, all the questions that are here. So I just do question part by part so that it can be easy for me to edit and upload it quick. So I'm going to see you on the next video.